Welcome to this short introductory video to the course Continuous Time Methods in Macroeconomics with Applications to Machine Learning. My name is Jesus Fernandez Villaverde and I will be teaching this course at Oxford this month of June. Since the financial crisis already 13 years ago, macroeconomics has made tremendous advances in incorporating linear phenomena. For instance, we have learned much better how to model sovereign or banking crisis and many other related issues. We have also learned a lot about how, intro how to introduce non-trivial heterogeneity in households and firms and study the consequences of this heterogeneity into otherwise standard dynamic general equilibrium models. These advances, in turn, have pushed the boundaries in numerical methods, in search of methods that are able to solve efficiently nonlinear models. There has been a lot of work in three main areas. First, many papers and researchers have switched from discrete to continuous time methods to formulate their macro models. The reason for that is that continuous time methods offer many advantages in terms of theory and computation. Second, we have learned how to apply machine learning techniques, particularly deep learning, as a solution method for these nonlinear dynamic general equilibrium models. And third, there has been a widespread adoption of parallelization techniques to speed up computations. Unfortunately, this is a material that is sometimes difficult for PhD students or young researchers to learn on their own. There is no textbook that covers this material very carefully and their applications in economics and many of the results are scattered among many different papers. In this course, I will try to gather all this information and put it together in a format that is easily accessible to many. In particular, the course will cover four main topics. First, I will discuss dynamic programming in continuous time. I will have a gentle introduction to the main ideas of continuous time in stochastic environments, show one how one can, for instance, write a hamilton jacobi bellman equation and show how you can use a very simple fine and different method to solve such equation. We will illustrate our derivations with examples from sovereign default models. Then we will move to material that is a little bit more advanced and we will cover both deep learning and reinforcement learning, two new and exciting techniques to solve highly dimensional dynamic programming problems. The third topic will be how to apply these ideas, in particular machine learning, to the formulation and solution of heterogeneous agent models in continuous time. And we will show how you can solve these models with aggregate shocks. We will have examples that will come from microfinance and we will learn how the nonlinear features of this model open new doors for researchers. Finally, we will wrap up by talking about the applications to optimal policy of these models with heterogeneous agents solved with deep learning. In that way, you will appreciate how the new developments in macro can be of high use and a much profit to policymakers in real life problems. I hope to see many of you at Oxford this month of June because I believe this will be a very exciting and timely course. Thanks for your attention.